Hello again everybody, I'm hoping everyone is safe. So uh, in this mini lecture and this short minutes, I'm going to continue uh, my last lecture on the thrust reversal deployment in flight event. And in this lecture, we will focus on the V2500 engine thrust reversal deactivation. And we will concentrate on the mistakes that do uh, happen before by maintenance personnel and allow the uh, thrust reverser deployment in flight event to happen. So, uh, in the last lecture we was talking and we did talk about the maintenance recommendation and the procedure for proper thrust reverser deactivation and we clearly state that there are three basic steps that you need to take care about during thrust reverser deactivation. Number one, you need to remove the hydraulic pressure and deactivate the hydraulic control unit and uh, prevent the hydraulic from reaching the actuator. Uh, second step is to mechanical lock the thrust reverser by lookout bin installation. And this will be our focus for today. The mistakes that the maintenance personnel do before uh, during this step, during mechanical looking the thrust reverser by the lookout bin. And the third step is to clearly indicate to the pilot that the thrust reverser is deactivated and the engine reverse inhibition ECAM is appearing on the uh, related engine or a warning placard is uh, in the cockpit to indicate to the pilot that the thrust reverser is deactivated. So. In today lecture, we will focus on this mechanically look the thrust reverser by look out bin installation, and we'll see what mistakes do happen before. Okay, so if the thrust reverser is not properly deactivated, and the translating sleeve is not uh, uh, correctly engaged, you will have this message: engine reverse unlock. So it is crucial that the maintenance personnel follow all steps of MM thrust reverser deactivation procedure and check that engine reverse unlocked caution does not appear on the ECAM. This caution is a no dispatch, no go. You need to take care, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. If after thrust reverser deactivation uh, procedure is done and you have this message so there is a big problem there and it is a no dispatch and no go item no go e cam caution okay so let's focus on the v2500 thrust reverser uh, as we can see here all the event reported to airbus occurred on an a320 aircraft equipped with v2500 engines we uh, have that an incorrect installation of the thrust reverser lookout bin is a common contributor. So maintenance personnel do mistake during installation of the thrust reverser lookout bin. As you can see here, this is the C duct. And this is the location for the lookout bin, lookout bin storage. And this is the lookout assembly location. So for thrust reverser deactivation, you disengage the lookout bin from here and engage it in the lookout assembly. So this is a mechanically looking step, mechanical look the uh, translating sleeve with the C duct. So for all the event where the thrust reverser deployed in flight, the mistake is probably that an incorrect installation of the thrust reverser lookout bin is a common contributor. So, in normal operation, when the thrust reverser is serviceable, the lookout bin is stored in the bin storage bracket. Assembly located in the middle of each translating sleeve. This location, this is the location of the lookout bin storage. So you get the lookout bin from here and thread it and put it in here in the lookout assembly. So in order to look out the translating sleeve and to prevent the thrust reverser from moving, it is important too. You need to assure that 
The translating sleeve is fully retracted. Fully retract the translating sleeve. And this step is uh, in the MM task. You need to assure that the translating sleeve is fully retract. And then you need to install the lookout pin in the lookout assembly. Again, install, install the lookout pin in the lookout assembly located above the lookout pin storage as in figure 2. This is the lookout assembly location. So you, this is the proper mechanically looking of the thrust reverser. This is the lookout pin. And this is the translating sleeve. Translating sleeve anchor brackets. We have two anchor brackets. And this is the C duct or the nacelle. So the mechanical looking that you connect the sleeve with the C duct mechanically by this pen. And you need to assure that this pen is go through the C duct and the two anchor holes or anchor brackets of the translating sleeve. And you will have an indication of this red upper surface of the lookout pen. So this is the proper thrust reverser mechanical looking, thrust reverser deactivation. So when you have red bin, this means that thrust reverser is manually deactivated. Okay, so the second step of mechanically looking and thrust reverser deactivation is to install the lookout bin in the lookout assembly located above the lookout bin storage. With the lookout bin correctly installed, the translating sleeve is logged to the fixed structure of the nacelle. As you can see, this is the translating sleeve. Translating sleeve anchor brackets. We have two anchor brackets. And this is the C duct or the nacelle. So this is the mechanical looking of the thrust reverse. So, what error do happen before? by the mechanics and the maintenance engineers that led to thrust reverser deployment in flight. So we have here cases of incorrect installation of the lookout pin. And they, they are three. There are three typical cases of incorrect installation. What are they? Number one, the lookout pin is partially engaged due to insufficient or incorrect threading. This is the first mistake. By the laziness of the mechanic or the maintenance staff, they engage the lookout bin only in the upper anchor bracket, not in the lower one. So this is the first error. That lookout bin is partially engaged, not fully engaged, it is partially engaged due to insufficient or incorrect threading. So how it is partially engaged? As you can see here, the lookout bin is only engaged with the upper anchor bracket, not the lower one. And how you can easily identify this mistake? You can see here uh, the gray thread of the bin. So in this case, as you can see here, in this case, which is illustrated in figure 4, the lookout bin has engaged with the outer cascade ring hole. This is the outer uh, uh, cascade ring hole, but only partially engaged, but only partially engaged with one of the two anchor bracket holes. So the bin is only engaged with the upper anchor bracket, not the lower one. And it is partially engaged. So how you can identify this? As a best practice, you need to turn the lookout bin to tighten by hand for at least two rotation to check that it has not cross-threaded. And this is the point. If you see the gray color, the gray color, this is the gray color. If you see this gray color, if you will see this gray color, so it is only partially engaged. If the gray color of the lookout bin is visible above the thrust reverser skin, the lookout bin is not correctly installed, is not correctly installed. So this, this is a mistake number one. Mistake number two, misalignment of the translating sleeve with the C duct. 
again misalignment of the translating sleeve with the C duct. So this is the second mistake. There is a misalignment between the sleeve, translating the sleeve and the C duct. So if you enter, if you try to push the lookout bin, it cannot engage. So in this case, as you can see, which is illustrated in figure 5, 6 and 6P. So let's see here, this is figure 6A, and this is figure 6B. You see it is not correctly engaged. This lookout bin installed in a misaligned assembly. And this is a misalignment of the translating sleeve with the C duct. You see this misalignment? So you cannot enter the lookout bin. Misalignment of the translating sleeve with the C duct before lookout bin installation. So as you can see here, this is, there is a misalignment. Maybe the actuator of the tra translating sleeve need rigging at this case. And in this case, it is a no dispatch. You cannot allow the aircraft to be dispatched because there is a, a, a big maintenance problem, a big maintenance problem. So in this case, which is illustrated here, the translating sleeve is misaligned with the C duct due to an incorrect rigging of the translating sleeve. Sorry. <laughs> so to correct this condition, there is two tasks for maintenance personnel. You need to check that all the internal bumper shims and the compression strut for clearance. And if the translating sleeve and the C duct are still misaligned, then it is necessary to check the rigging of the translating sleeve actuator by this reference for International Aero Engine, MM Task 78-30-00. So at this case, at this case, you need to do rigging for the actuator. And in this case, you cannot dispatch the aircraft. So what is the third error? What is the third error? The third error is that the lookout bin not engage in the lookout assembly. So how, how we can identify this? This is mistake number three. Lookout bin not engage in the lookout assembly. If the translating sleeve is not fully retracted and the dimension is more than 20 millimeter between the uh, uh, translating sleeve and the C duct center line, as you can see here, if you can see this visible gap so that the translating sleeve is not correctly retracted. And if it is more than 20 millimeter, you can easily engage the lookout bin, but now the bin is only engaged with the translating sleeve, not the C duct. So this is a very silly mistake, a very silly mistake, but it do happen before. So my fellow maintenance personnel, you need to, as a key point, you need to always confirm that the thrust reverser translating sleeve are retracted to their fully stowed position before installing the lookout bin as per IAEMM task 78-32-00860011-A. So this was the three mistakes that do happen before by maintenance personnel and allows a thrust reverser of the V2500 engine to get deployed in flight. There are three typical cases of incorrect installation. We mentioned these three mistakes, so you need to take care very much during thrust reverser deactivation about these errors, about these errors to uh, prevent such uh, a very uh, dangerous situation. Thank you for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely and always you need to go for these articles on the safety first uh, magazine by Airbus and now it is published on the uh, internet and there is a, a dedicated website for such articles. Thank you for your good listening and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.